That's well, well, you're going into the area of self-regulation. Now let's yep. go back in the memory of Kenyans who live uh, for a certain number of years. We had the late John Michuki and we had something called the Michuki mm. rules. Everybody had a uniform. Uh, matatus were to be recognized by a certain kind of uh, paintwork. Uh, Mr. Michuki was shunted across to the environment and it's been downhill all the way. You are loath to be regulated. You don't want regulations. You don't want <laughs> rules. You want to be, uh, do whatever you like. John, I would want to say that uh, Michuki was an individual. Right. And he, he did as well. He, he was a government he did, minister. He was a government minister. He was a government individual. minister. So he what, is the so, only one who so came out. May I ask why you didn't continue the legacy yeah. as an organization? I'm coming why to that, John. I'm coming to that. Michuki came in with very beautiful regulations. And actually, individually fought for the regulations to stick. I tried so much to p persuade Michuki, include us. We are suffering as owners of these vehicles. He rubbished us. Had we, in what, in just a way, moment. In what, sorry, in what way he, do you wish to be included? We needed to empower right. the organizations running uh, Matatu business to be able to uh, punish errant drivers. But apparently, you see, if there is no power given to you to do the same, an, an owner will tell you, hey, this is my driver. Why are you talking about him? Why are you trying to send him off? Sorry, and we sorry, wanted sorry, to. Sorry, yeah. I don't. You're, you're saying you weren't included in the sense that you wanted to become policemen in your own right. You but, wanted to. Well, let me put. It, let me. Give the, given the powers to put people in jail or. No, not not in what jail. Inclusion? Suspension. Suspend owners from operating from a route. Suspend drivers. Punish them for uh, mistakes that they have committed. But you see. One thing is that you're not a policeman. And you're trying to suggest that government never gave you support no, in this? No, they never gave us support in that. We needed a small legislature that would uh, give powers to an institution to say, this driver will not drive a matatu in that particular route because of misbehaving. No, we wanted this. We wanted to be included. But, but it and have the sense it, of... It, it, could, it could have been, again, now, this is, this is excuse number two. You're saying we didn't do anything because nobody asked us. Those horrible people, they didn't ask us to join them to stop road carnage. Therefore, we're very bitter and we're going to do nothing and let it continue. No. To be honest, John... I'm putting words in your mouth, but that's what I'm reading. No, no, no. That's you're reading, the, from you're reading a different text from what I have. Right. Well, perhaps... Uh, well, I'm still... Yeah, what, what actually, John, when you look at uh, Matatu Owners Association now, we are in the trust, even providing cameras to catch our own drivers and prosecute them. Unfortunately, some of these tools that we do provide turn out to be tools to, to, to manufacture money for personal gain. So... Um, uh, right now, we've had cameras that can be audited. We're going to ask for those cameras back. We audit and ask this person sped. Where did you? Where are the, the, the those uh, forms that took him to court? Where are the results? This is what we want. May, so for may, us, so, sorry, may, may, may I tell you a little personal story? We're talking about an association. Mm -hmm. I have been to India, the subcontinent of India, uh, a specific place, Bangalore, and in that city which is very much like Nairobi in many ways, I got onto a tuk-tuk. Tuk-tuk driver had a, an identity card with his picture, with his blood group, with any number of details to be able to trace him back. Why in 12 years can't you institute similar legislation for members of your association so that members of the public can avoid people who don't belong to the MOA? No. We're doing the right thing. Even if you're going to catch an aeroplane, sir, you catch it on a, an airline which has a reputation not to having a plane crash every month. True. That's why they do well. Well, in Michuki rules, we had um, one of the rules that a driver must display his photograph for passengers to see, so that they can identify who is driving the vehicle. In the same way that a policeman so, ought yeah, to be able now, to have his police number, yeah, his name, number. so that you can see the there constable was, who wanted this was a bribe. Picture. This is a picture. This is just a picture at the front. Right. Second, there was a badge right. that a driver or a conductor is supposed to hang. Right. That has his picture 
and I take your point entirely. Correct. I am saying, now the question why here, you, can, you, why can I not I'm identify I'm coming members there, of your association? Why can't I identify a good matatu from a bad matatu? Is you, that a bad question to ask? It's not a bad question at all, John. I'm answering the question. Do. There is a law in the country and we have policemen in white caps every day, everywhere in the city. And the reasons why they get blind eye on this is better known to them. It is an offence not to display your badge. It's also an offence not to display your photograph. Now, there's been an excuse that the ministry concerned is doesn't the machine that was used actually because this was an area where um, taxes were collected by the uh, revenue authority that when you come to have this badge provided to you, you pay tax. Apparently, the machines are broken. So any even the other person who has it will keep it away. Well, then I, well, I'm, I'm, so I'm, now I'm, going I'm, back I'm, to the association. May, may I encourage you yeah. to name and blame? Now let us blame the police. The police are not doing their job properly, therefore you can't deliver. Correct? You would say that, John. Right. If you cannot prosecute a person who has committed an offence, you have failed. That's correct. If there is an offence committed, the law states that you got to appear in a court of law. Right. Apparently, I don't know what happens. So, so we can say that w with the with the reform in the police force, we're looking to the future. We're hopeful society must change with the police reforms, which we await. Life is definitely meant to get better to the one ain't you takes a PSV. Let me say this. Um, traffic department, if it was me today, I would abolish it. You'd would abolish ab the traffic department? I would department. abolish the traffic department. And create what in its place? And create something else. Because it appears that problems faced by this department can, is unsolvable. But the traffic department would say, I'd abolish the MOA and replace it with something else. <laughs> they would say so, so right, John, but, right, but right, yes. look at, looking at things in a realistic way, right. it is just important that they enforce the law to the latter. Right. Apparently, you see that these laws, um, you know, they are used to. You know, to, yes, to benefit you, yes, individuals. You, you talk, you talk well, about, you as talk, an you, association, you, you talked we, about cartels, you yeah, talked about what correct. are the stakes. Are you going to walk out of here and because you said what you said, somebody's going to come and chop your finger off or they wouldn't, quit spilling the beans? I've said this on camera all the time. Right. I know they'll harass me, probably take my vehicles and lock them in and charge my drivers. I say, fine. Let's, I mean, if that is what it takes to say the truth, I'm ready to face it. Um, the association has embarked on educating our members that you have to abide by the rule. You must go by the, what is in the books. If it is a driver, uniform does not bite. You have to put on, be proud of your work. If it's the badge, it doesn't, it's, it's, it's not weighty. It's something that is, you wouldn't even feel the weight. Now, if it is obeying the traffic rules, if it is the 80 kilometers speed per hour, We've got to abide by that. That's what I've always stood for. Apparently, you know, and when we come to crack down on this, then it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't send a good message. It doesn't, it doesn't actually uh, get the gist of what they are doing because it becomes an area of taking what is available. So for me, I would say uh, we will try it out. We'll try our best to educate our members. Then, if they, you know, uh, you, you'd realize that there are cultures that have. In place, you know, a culture is something that is so difficult to go, I mean, to, to, to eradicate. You really got to go around it and find ways of eradicating that, that culture. There is a terrible culture of right. give and take. Right, give and take. So may I ask you, as the chairman, you've been chairman ever since the association was formed, so you've been in place for eight years. What does the future hold beyond Simon Kimutai? Um, John, I've traveled widely just to study public transport in other countries. And uh, there is a future. There are countries which have gone worse than what we've gone through. With time, we are able uh, to, 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 to realize the dream of having a reliable, affordable, and uh, uh, a service that would let any person who's using this service be happy. The future is great. I know um, somebody might doubt me, 
but we don't have to reinvent the wheel. We have best practice all over the world. We just need to pick and paste. And this is uh, uh, a dream that we have to make it a reality. Public transport in Nairobi is changing. I know, the eye is a very funny object. It only picks on areas which do not please. But where it is worth being praised, nobody, nobody, nobody praises it. But somehow I believe there's been change and we are going to do better. We've tried to partner with other countries who have actually uh, done better than us and can show us the way to do it. Simon Kimutai, Chairperson of the Matatu Owners Association. Thank you very much for coming on the JSA interview. Welcome, Joe.